Hello, Cyberstar Tectonica here. I just wanted to bring attention to kind of like an anomaly I saw earlier today. So if you notice in the beginning of the stream, the beginning of the day here, we have like this skinnier seismogram than we were seeing previously in the day and previously in other streams. If we zoom ahead a little bit, we can see that it goes on for like a couple hours here. The skinny, like it's crazy being able to see the white in between. So then we hit this point coming up here. This happens out of nowhere. This very big, continuous sort of hum. Okay, so it goes on about for an hour at least. And we're seeing these very sharp pointed seismogram readings here. So when I decided to look back at the data, it seems like someone else was as well. Because the whole data set, like reset, because I think that people are like, what, what happened here? Okay, so they were seeing as well that we were having regular waves, these tiny, tiny ones, and then we go to these huge ones. And then this is our current data here afterwards that we were seeing, and it was a lot, it was still the same, but it wasn't as strong, right? Very pointed, sharp quakes we had here. And then as we move along, the sharp ones continue, and then we finally work our way back to normal, more or less. Still lots of little tiny sharp ones, it kind of seems. Now actually it'd be interesting to see what the sonogram was doing here. So you can see these little pointed ones kind of have a sharp, high-pitched sound to them. Quick and high-pitched, which is interesting. So here you can see it's just rumbling. That's crazy. Very deep, low rumbles and some high peaks in there. And it just kind of continues. You can see this one kind of had an echo, which is interesting up here. So if we go into the morning, we can see there was lots of like medium depth, medium to larger depth, smaller earthquakes bouncing around up in here. And they continue kind of just going back and forth. Then we had a 5.0. And I think that's what kind of started this whole thing. Just kind of down south here at 10 kilometers. Then we had a, oh geez, at one kilometer. That is very close to the surface, especially in comparison to everything else. I think this is the highest, closest elevation one I've seen so far. We're getting data in as we speak, so. Keeps bumping me to the top. And this is one of the closer ones we've had to Santorini actually in a while. Here's Colombo. But it kind of seems like if the plate's moving this way, maybe here would be a new Colombo kind of moment. Thankfully, it's further away from larger land masses, it seems. We have the 5.0, and then it's just kind of a continued bounce between deeper and then higher. And it kind of goes up here and bounces back and forth in this area. And these are pretty significant, like 4.2, 4, 4.8, 4, just back to back to back in this little area, and uh, 4.7, 4.1, and this continues in the same smaller area. And the elevation seems to go between deep and small and deep and deep and shallow, deep and shallow, back and forth, really. And then they start to calm down, but they're mostly centralized in this area for quite some time which I know there's like a flow between the days. Um, so then we have a couple nine and they start to dial down quite a lot here after that big surge, you could say. But what I thought was notable is right here we had one, I was at 54 kilometers depth. That's like deeper than the plate. That's like in the upper mantle region that we're reaching there. That's how deep that is. And this one is at 173 kilometers. That's crazy, that's definitely thicker than the crust. You know, so that's like a deep, a deep shift right there. But it's interesting because it's really far out here compared to the rest of them here. Like, they're all just right here, and this is coming from here, this one's kind of an outlier as well. And they're both very deep, so it's very interesting that they're colliding. It could be a, a plate that's connected that, like, these are affecting this. Here's a station that we're connected to on the stream, but it's just like a notable change where it's just like this, like, it's like music, <laughs> and it's just going along. And you can see it at literally, well, that's just cracked out. 
you can see it at all of the stations that they were feeling all of these huge earthquakes and there was just like a constant vibration for a given time there and there was kind of a calm period there. It's interesting seeing how each station gets its own mojo. Here's that swarm again. Here's at Athens University. You could, f it was all the way, it was going all the way out there. This one's just crazy. And this is the Colombo station, which is just insane. It's off the charts. It's almost impossible to read, unfortunately. And that's why we kind of choose one in the middle that's closer to the area. But if you were in Colombo, which you can't really be, you would be uh, quite a lot more shaken than even in Santorini, which is crazy. But that's just an interesting thing that I saw. Hopefully it means nothing negative, but it could also mean like lava flowing. Who knows? We're in a calm period now, so we might have resurgence again of something larger in the future, but time only tell. It was possibly one of the biggest swarms since maybe even the beginning. Uh, my heart goes out to everyone in Santorini. I hope everyone is okay and that you all stay safe no matter what happens and to everyone else as well. Thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this update. We'll see what happens.